Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. Finding the integral of trigonometric functions. And these are the different formulas in finding the integral of trigonometric functions. So we have this given. So the integral of cosine x plus cosecant squared x dx. So first we need to integrate every term. So we have the integral of cosine x then the dx plus the integral of this cosecant squared x then the dx then simplify so using these formulas so integral of cosine x and that's equal to sine x so this one is sine x plus the integral of cosecant squared x and that's equal to negative cotangent x. So negative cotangent x then plus c. Then simplify. So sine x this positive and negative. That's negative cotangent x plus c. So this one is the final answer. Then for this given, so the integral of cotangent squared x, since there's no integral of cotangent squared x on these formulas, so we're going to use a trigonometric identities that this cotangent squared x plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared x. Then to solve for cotangent squared x, so transpose this positive one to the right so we have now cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1 so we're going to substitute this equation to this cotangent squared x so therefore this is now our new equation so that's cosecant squared x minus 1 then the dx, then this time we can integrate now every term. So we have the integral of cosecant squared x, the dx minus the integral of 1, then the dx. Then simplify, so integral of cosecant squared x, that's negative cotangent x. Then minus the integral of 1 dx, this one is equal to x, then plus c. So this is the final answer. Then for this given, so integrate every term. So we have the integral of sine x, then the dx, plus the integral of x then the dx then simplify so integral of sine x that's equal to negative cosine x so this one is negative cosine x plus the integral of x dx since the integral of x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n then plus 1 over n plus 1 since on this equation, the exponent of x is equal to 1. So using this formula, n plus 1. So 1 plus 1. So x to the power 2 over n plus 1 over 2. Then plus c. So this one is the final answer. Then for this given, so the integral of cosine x over sine squared x dx, since x squared is equal to x times x, so therefore this sine squared x is equal to sine x times sine x. So we can rewrite this one as the integral of cosine x over sine x times sine x then the dx then we can split this uh, equation 
So we have the integral of 1 over sine x times cosine x over sine x, then the dx, then using trigonometric identities, that 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x, and this cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent x. So therefore, we have now the integral of 1 over sine x that's equal to cosecant x then times this cosine x over sine x that's equal to cotangent x then the dx so simplify now so from these formulas so we have this the integral of cosecant x times cotangent x dx so integral of cosecant x times cotangent x dx and that's equal to negative cosecant x then plus c so this one is the final answer then for this given so we can simplify this one we can cancel out this cosine x so we have now the integral of 1 over sine x then the dx then using trigonometric identities that 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x so that's the integral of cosecant x then the dx and integral of cosecant x dx so from these formulas so that's equal to ln so ln then the absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x then plus c so this one is the final answer then for this given so integrate every term so we have the integral of 2 dx then minus the integral of cosecant squared x then the dx then we can put this constant outside so we have 2 then the integral of dx minus the integral of cosecant squared x dx then since the integral of dx is x so we have this 2x minus the integral of this cosecant squared that's negative cotangent x so negative cotangent x then plus c then simplify so we have 2x then negative times negative that's positive then cotangent x plus c so this one is the final answer